Okay, now after cleaning the acorns, boiling them, I pulled them out of here, I let them cool, and I put them in cold water. I, I've seen many different ways, but this is the way I'm trying. This is out of a book about American Indians. The way the Sioux did it, the Gabrielinos, the Paiutes, a few others. Now, I let them cool, soaked them in cold water. Some of them that I picked up were bad. I found out that if the cap's still on them, they've dropped off the tree, they're de defective. If, if they're on the ground with the cap, they're defective and they probably have worms in them or something's wrong with them, they're really bitter. So get the ones that drop off that are still green with the cap, the ones that drop off, get them before anything gets into them. Now, show them. This is all the meat I got. There's a lot here. I'm going to put this in some cold water and let it sit overnight, leach it. Drain the top. The water gets miscolored at the top like a yellow. Dump the yellow. Put the cold water back up to the top again. Let it sit again for half day. Do that two or three times till it's like a, a, a yellow, I mean like a, a red or brown. You want to get rid of the yellow. That's the bitterness. And then I'm going to dry it for a couple days then I'm going to put it in a blender or or maybe do it by hand, I'm not sure and uh, make the meal out of it and make a little um, flatbread like a hamburger patty give it a try grill it on a rock oh yeah when I boil them you boil them with a little bit of salt in the water it's supposed to give them more flavor and help preserve them so in case you don't want to cook right away you can make these last. There are ways you can make them last six months. Anyway, this is my first time. Let me give it a shot. Okay, here they are. After one complete day of drying. As you can see, the outsides are pretty dry. Shriveled up. But the inside still has some moisture. I'm going to let them go the entire week until they're completely bone dry. And then I'll be grinding them up and taking the meal I get from it. Mixing a little bit of water. I'm not going to make the bread. I'm not going to add anything. I'm going to do it straight leaf from the American Indian way and make a meal out of it. Paste. Make these patties. And I'm going to cook these patties on a rock the way they did it. We'll see how it works. This is an oak tree. Me and my dad are in the San Gabriel Mountains collecting acorns to make um, Indian, I mean Native American food. And he's down there collecting them because there's poison oak right there so he's getting the acorns down there and we already gathered gathered some up there too and how many have you have you got well this is an 18 liter backpack and it's about this full so i've got about 10 liters and then show them what you've collected so far okay and these are all the acorns that I collected. Almost half of the bag. And my dad almost filled the whole backpack up. Could see it's almost full. Look at this acorn. Acorns. So when you see an oak tree like this, I have read they live 400 to 650 years old. A four foot diameter acorn tree is about 400 years old. That means most of these trees are about 250, 300 years old. There are some way back and way back over there that are easily 450 years old, especially there's one in the East Fork that's probably five or six, which means these things predate our modern history. Every name you've ever heard of from modern day the past two, 300 years, these trees were here before them. It's pretty amazing. Anyway, this tree right here, I filled my 18 liter backpack. So we're headed out of here. She's got it made. I'm on foot. That means this tree was here two, three hundred years ago. I bet you the Gabrielinos, um, less than three miles from this spot right here, is the place where they had their last their last actual camp known of, known of and logged in San Gabriel's where the last 30 of them lived and about eight miles from here maybe no actually about 10 or 12 miles from here 
there's a place where I've found the actual grinding stones where they used to make the meal. She's way up there. And we just came up here after school. Her school got out at 2 o'clock conference week. We just came here. We're going up on some of these ledges here following these deer trails. Visiting some of the oak trees that uh, people usually don't go out of their way to go to. And I pulled out an 18 liter flash backpack topped off. You can fit no more. It probably weighs a good 20 pounds. I'll wait when I get home. Out of that we're gonna make oatmeal. Uh, we're gonna make acorn meal. We'll be making some bread, maybe some pancakes, a few other recipes. Found the recipes in uh, Native American books I got from the Orange County Library. Completely full. Okay, look at this. It's on zero. The acorns. We got just under 22 pounds. I guess 22. Guess. I've, I've been weighing packs and and uh, guessing for so many years now. I'm within a half a pound. 21 and a half pounds of acorns. Nothing but acorns. There's nothing else in this pack. I'll dump them out and show you how much it So you guys know about how big the flash is. Look at this. Overlaps on each side. Looking at about three and a half feet by about three feet. Look at the size of some of these things. Look at this one. I'll be shelling these all tonight and splitting them and starting the leaching. Put them in, put them in the cold water. I'm not going to boil them first this time. I'm going to do these different. Those other ones are coming out. They actually taste pretty good. But I got a lot more this time. <laughs> 